Hello everybody. So this video will be some update video about this. This is some sort of conductive plastic which can be made really really easily at home. To make this sort of plastic you only need to dissolve some styrofoam in acetone and you will get some slurry like material. Into this styrofoam slurry you also add some conductive material. In my case I use some graphite powder. Then when I mix everything together I press the material. More you press this plastic more conductive will get. And in the end I leave it that all the acetone will evaporate. And in the end you will get something like this. So this sort of plastic can be used in many applications. For example, you can use this one in the batteries or also in some supercapacitors. But you can also use this plastic in other applications. For example, to make some capacity touch switches, you can use this kind of plastic and so on. And also what is really, really nice by this one is that if you don't like like you have it, you can melt it down and reshape it. So only what you need to do, you can use some acetone to dissolve this plastic again and you can reshape or you can use some heat. So around 100 degrees C, uh, this kind of plastic will soften and you can reshape it if you want. Here I have some different example. This is the same plastic, conductive plastic, but this one also have some stainless steel current collector inside this plastic. So the standard process to make this plastic is that you dissolve some styrofoam in acetone. And you get this styrofoam slurry. Okay, everything is fine and great. But if you want, you can also dissolve this slurry. And for this, you need to use This one. So this one is some nitro thinner. So don't add too much of this thinner, nitro thinner, because then you will you will not get really good plastic because this plastic then will be really really fragile. And now you see that all this styrofoam slurry is dissolved only with adding a little bit of nitro thinner so nitro thinner is really good because you can find this one in almost any technical store and it's also really really cheap so you need to add just a little bit 
of this thinner in acetone and then you will be able to dissolve this uh, styrofoam slurry so you need to find a really really good ratio of conductive material styrofoam acetone and a nitro thinner so guys that's it for now and we see us in the next video bye